You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Super excited to revisit the Sour Candy Factory, a poof slinky item, scientific explorer, learn the science behind candy making. Now in the first video, I made the hard candy lollipops. And in that video I said, I will make some more for you at a future date. Now that was a long time ago. And as I was uh, going over some videos, I thought, you know what? I'm gonna try to revisit everything that I said I would do. So this is one of those videos. I am going to, well, I'll show you more of the box in that other video. Uh, but this one here, now the candy crystals I have made with another set from them. So that's one I will not do. I did the lollipops, but it looks like I still can do marshmallows. Here, where's the list? I saw it somewhere handy right here. Okay, made gummies. I haven't done lollipops, yes. Hard candy, yes. Liquid candy, no. Sour powder, no. Marshmallows, no. Gummies, no. So I am going to make marshmallows. And I am going to make the sour powder candy today. So I'm going to do that for you in video. So when I come back, we'll get started and make the marshmallows. All right, here we go. When I was setting everything up, I was thinking to myself, wow, a full-scale mixer, full-scale bowls. It's kind of like a different feeling than cooking the mini food. So here we go. It says to first steps. So I'm just going to go in steps. Spray your tray, okay? And then put a tablespoon of powdered sugar. Spread that out. That probably acts as your protector, so I just want to put it in a little thing so we get a nice coating. Sifter, yeah, that's what it is. Okay, that is step one. So when I come back, I will be on step two. I have to take this in stages so I can clean up, get set, move machinery in. All right, how's that? That is a nice coating, isn't it? All right, I'll be back now, almost empty, with the next set of steps. All right, now I am on step three. Soften the gelatin by combining with water in a saucepan. Let sit for five to seven minutes. And it doesn't say to use heat, so I think it's just meant to soften. And then remember now, this is what you need to get, and this is what you get from the kit. So the gelatin, comes in a pack like this, and I need, what does it say, a third a cup of water, which I have, and then one, what did it say, one tablespoon of gelatin. All right, here we go. Now, there should be enough in this kit to do everything you need for the recipes that they provide. I don't think there's enough to do multiple recipes of each one. Here we go, one tablespoon of gelatin. And we'll just let this sit and dissolve. And I will mix it up better, make sure there's no lumps. So let this sit five to seven minutes. Like I said, nothing about heat. It doesn't say to heat it up. So I will be back in five to seven minutes. All right, so the next step was to turn on the heat now and stir in the sugar. And then just mix this, what does it say? Until dissolved. I brought those other bowls out thinking I need more bowls, but I don't need them, so. Felt weird having real size bowls. So this shouldn't take long. Then after this, I'm moving over to the mixer. So I'll pull that in once this is all dissolved. Never made marshmallows from scratch. So this is going to be interesting. Ooh, that was a big one. Okay, there we go. Want to see how nice that looks? Looks like it's dissolving, so when I come back now, I'll have the next set of ingredients, which are in the back here, I will show you. Salt, vanilla, and the corn syrup. I'm all set and ready to go. And then I will come back with the mixer, and then it says, well, heat over low heat, stirring until dissolved. Got that. Use an electric mixer, combine the mixture in the saucepan with the corn syrup, salt, and vanilla. 
So I will come back with all of that in the mixer. I will be back. All right, so here we go. Let me get this mixture in. And it said add the other ingredients and beat on high. All right. So a pinch of salt. A teaspoon a vanilla extract. We can probably get this going here so it's starting. I'll have it on low till I get this set. Okay, and now the corn syrup. Make sure I keep it close to the edge. And then I'll switch to high. Okay, here we go. Let's take a look inside there as we speed this up. Now this mixer, ooh, that's cool. That's on four, let me go to six. Since we're whipping to beat this up here. So I'll just let that go. Maybe you'll see the camera cut in and out. It's just so that I know I've got several minutes. So I'll be back. Set my timer. All right, it's been about a minute. I did increase it just a little bit. One more speed up. And uh, like I said, I'll keep checking back. I'll let it go for 10 seconds. You can just watch it. Okay, I have peaks, and I am set. Let me unlock, lift this up. You can see it on the paddle here. Let me see if I can get this paddle out. It has now formed a nice, almost thick, where it's hanging onto the paddle, marshmallowy looking substance, which is working. It's always good when something works in a video, isn't it? And it's starting to form and be sticky like a marshmallow. Let me move this out of the way. Actually, I'll just set that there. I might want to eat some of that. And this bowl twists off on this machine. And it says just spread it out on your tray. Look at that. It definitely has a softened marshmallow appearance to it. Now they say spread it. I'm not going to spread it totally flat because I want my marshmallows to, well, I don't know. We'll see. Maybe it's supposed to rise a little bit more. Oh, look, it's already turning into a marshmallow. I don't think I can do much with it. It's peaked out, if you know what I mean, but that's okay. We'll leave it like that. Definitely has peaks in it, though. All right. It is super tasty. Now, sprinkle with flavoring and citric acid. All right. I hope this puffs up to a big marshmallow. We'll see. Here is the watermelon flavoring. Let me get some in one of my little... Spoons. I'll start with a quarter of a teaspoon right there. Ooh, it smells good. I'm gonna have watermelon marshmallows. I'm gonna do another one. Okay, and now the citric acid, which is gonna give us that sour flavor. Put about about the same amount just make sure I get a nice coating it's hard to tell on white isn't it okay all right I'd say that's a super duper coating so now let's stand for two to three hours but let me show you on here I'll just use my finger because I want to eat it it doesn't look like a softened marshmallow already It definitely tastes like a marshmallow. That's a good sign. All right, I'll be back in two to three hours. No, I won't be back in two to three hours. You'll see a second because I'm going to do another 
recipe for you right now while this all settles. And then I'll do all my cleaning, come back, and then we'll do another recipe. All right, here we go, as promised. The second one in the booklet that I'm going to do today is the sour powder candy. Now, what I like about this booklet, too, and I probably showed you in the first video, is they give you information like marshmallows, from ancient goo to modern peeps, and some history, which you can read there. A little reading material while I'm waiting for the marshmallows to finish. It takes six minutes to make a marshmallow peep. Well, wow, that's a long time, actually, if you think about it. So I'm going to make, I'm going to follow right along and do number three, the sour powder candy. And as you can see, uh, I added, uh, well, I added a couple things. I figured they want you to use a spoon to dip in it, but I have one of these uh, gourmet, original gourmet birthday cake lollipops. I want to dip that in my sour mix. All right, so in a small mixing bowl, thoroughly, 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 Hmm, might be a new word. The flavoring, citric acid, and sugar. All right, so the sugar was three, what is it, uh, two tablespoons. So let me do that now. You know, of course, this is all to taste. I wonder if you can use like a sugar-free sugar if you want. There is one. And here is two. Okay. And then one teaspoon of flavoring. Now I have raspberry from the previous video. I was going to do that. And maybe just throw in a, a dicing of uh, watermelon. When I uh, pushed my finger on the marshmallow and licked it, it is super sour. I put a lot on there. So let's see what happens. Ooh, this smells good. It's just a white powder. Hard to see way in there, but I'll use what I have left. And look, I'll need to top it off with the watermelon. Oh, too bad. Okay, here we go. One teaspoon of that. And then the citric acid. Half a teaspoon. You do a half a teaspoon. Okay. Then mix this all together thoroughly and then eat. How easy is that? Super easy. Now, if you want this super sour, it would just add more citric acid. All right, here we go. Let me move my camera in a little bit. Get a little bit closer. I mean, that's simple. I got water raz. Water raspberry. Let's come up with the name of this one. Watermelon and raspberry together. I think they go. If you had a fruit salad, they would work together. Okay, that little black spot's bothering me. It was in my sugar, I think. You know, that happens. You find little things in sugar once in a while. I don't know about you. I do. You know, you put a spoon in there from something else, and then, you know, you know what I'm saying. All right, so now I'm going to taste. First, I will taste it just out of the spoon without the bonus birthday cake. Look at the birthday cake lollipop with the cool coloring inside. I will just use my number one appendage there, my finger. Super tasty, but not too sour. So here we go. Of course you have to lick and then dip. Now that's a combination, look at that. Here we go. Ooh. Now I got the sour. And it's very rough now, but it's good. All right, so that was number two. When I come back then, we will have my marshmallow set. Very tasty. I will be back with the marshmallows. All right, so here we go. It's been about an hour and a half, uh, maybe a little bit longer, and it said cut, roll, and powdered sugar and enjoy. Now, my marshmallow, I can actually pick it up, so it does feel like a mushy marshmallow. I'm going to cut a piece off and see if I can make one look like a marshmallow. They had them so nice on the, the box. The consistency is a little spongy. I was wondering maybe I should mix them a little bit less next time, but let's just see. Let's put this in. 
Let's see what we get for my first ever marshmallow. The taste is good, so that's important. Okay, there's one. And then I will cut another few. So I have a nice little plate. I brought in my other one too that I did for you. Okay. I guess there's all kinds of factors, you know. Here, I'll use this one here, and so it looks like a decent size. All right. So there is my three marshmallows. And a lot more to try. So what do you think? Out of the two experiments, which would you rather try? I will take a bite of this so you can kind of see and hear. It bites like a marshmallow. Just not as airy and soft. It's a little mushier. But I have to say, it really does taste like a marshmallow. So that's a plus. And you remember this one here. Now, you could probably dip your marshmallow in here. Ooh, into the sour candy mix. Dry mix. And then you get a sugar-coated marshmallow. All right, so there is video two for the Sour Candy Factory. And I'm kind of going on a... Ketchup. Not ketchup, but make sure I complete the things I said I was going to complete in past videos. And I could think of maybe three or four where I said, I'll get back to that in a new vi in a later video or a newer video. And I didn't. So if you want to call me out on those, you're more than welcome. And if I can get to them, I surely will, because that's the plan. And thanks for watching. And if you enjoy me making things, look in that description. We'll have a playlist to the candy making videos and as always let it if you're looking for the item you just saw in the video click here watch more videos by clicking here don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up hey lps dave what's up butch make sure they don't forget to subscribe oh yeah please click here to subscribe to lucky penny shop and always remember when you see a lucky penny pick it up thanks for watching <laughs>